It happens every August. Every year we prepare for the football season and then boom, somebody gets hurt. Last year the Falcons had the biggest August injury when projected starting tackle Mike Johnson hurt his leg. And this year, just last Saturday night, it was the Falcons again. This time, Sam Baker ruptured his patella tendon. Baker has been a disappointment since being drafted out of USC in 2008. He's had his moments, but you would never call Baker a franchise offensive tackle. That's what they needed when they took him right after selecting Matt Ryan. They needed someone to protect Ryan for a long time. Instead, they got a player that will be more remembered for his injuries and inconsistency than anything else. No one ever wants anyone to get hurt, but this injury might actually not be a bad thing. Before he got hurt on Saturday night, Baker was getting killed by rookie Jadavion Clowney for Houston. It, was ex it exposed, really, what many Falcons fans have feared, that Baker was just really not that very good. Now, the Falcons can do what they should have done in the first place and put rookie Jake Matthews at left tackle. And he is, or at least he looks like, that franchise tackle this team needs. Sure, it was strategic to wait on Matthews taking over the main spot on the line, but now they have no choice. The Falcons have a lot of questions this season. At linebacker, will they get a pass rush? And, of course, at running back. But in a way, it all depends on the offensive line. They drafted Matthews and brought in John Asamoah from free agency, but now they have to revamp again. Can they get someone new, someone that is being released by another team before the start of the season? Well, will that really help? They have money, maybe as much as $9 million under the cap, so they could add someone, but now they must depend on Matthews to protect Matt Ryan, something that wasn't done much last season and caused the 4-12 and record. Falcons fans expect this team to bounce back, regardless of any injury or excuse, but it is almost like they are setting us up for the inevitable. There's always something with this team, but maybe, just maybe, this injury will turn out to be something that is a good thing. Maybe someone, whether it's Lamar Holmes or Gabe Karimi or Mike Johnson, will actually be better than Baker. That won't take much, but it certainly would help Ryan stay vertical, and it might actually make the Falcons a better team.